guys, this is Ma'am Hana. So if you are a student who is having a hard time studying again given the delays in the board exam, No! God, please, no! Ang hirap-hirap mag-aral ulit ngayon or ma-motivate na mag-aral ulit ngayon given na ilang beses na nga na-delay yung board exam. <laughs> here in the channel, you may click subscribe and the bell button so that you can see more videos on tips and other board exam related stuff. Alright, so going back, like I said, a lot of students are experiencing difficulties in studying again. So what are the possible strategies that you can do if you want to pass the board exam or even to top the board exam? If you're going to ask me as a pass top notcher, sure. there are certain things that I believe um, differentiates those who pass or top the board exam from those who don't. So first of all is the level of understanding you have for a certain topic, a certain disease, a certain subject for the board exam. Unang una, you need to have a clear understanding of what topics are included per subject in the board exam, how many subjects are you taking, and ano yung mga kasama dito na subjects. Now usually, a lot of top-notchers, they did not just parang nag-aral na lang sila during the review. A lot of them have actually this in-depth knowledge of the topics even before the board exam. So it really goes back to the their undergrad, their training, the level of studying that they did during undergrad. Because of this, they have a much deeper understanding of the topics. Uh, it's like it's long-term memory already, the topics for them. Now, one of the things that students don't understand or hindi nila na they take advantage of, especially during the pandemic, is the delay in the board exam actually gives you the opportunity to catch up. Especially if you are the student who was not able to go through the lessons that well during undergrad undergrad, hindi ka nag-exert as much effort in understanding the topics. Well, I believe that this opportunity to have so many delays is actually a chance for you to go through the subjects in depth, to have a deeper understanding of the subjects, to go over many resources instead of just having the review lectures that you have, the review notes that you have. You have more time to actually search more, look at other resources, go over the internet, go over YouTube, just for you to have a much deeper understanding dun sa inyong pinag-aaralan. A lot of the top notchers I talk to, just like myself, it's not really on how many topics that you know, but how deep you know the topics, the fundamentals, as I always say, gana mo ka master yung fundamentals mo. And this is an opportunity for students to actually go into things in depth. If you feel like masyadong paulit-ulit na yung inaaral mo because your review notes are basically the same from one season to the other, or if there are slight changes, but really what can make make it a different experience for you is to really exert the extra effort to go over other resources because in terms of time, you have that extra time. So I think that's the first thing that you should do or you should implement in your review schedule right now. Have a more in-depth understanding. Identify what topics are difficult for you. Go over them in depth. If you feel like you haven't mastered it yet, search through more resources, read more resources, watch videos about it for you to have a much much deeper understanding of these diseases, these certain interventions or whatever they are na hindi masyado clear sa'yo or superficial lang yung understanding mo on these things. Now, the second thing I think that students are not able to take advantage of is you are so used to the routine that you are doing, it really does get boring. So, another thing to spice up your review for now is to also ask other top-notchers. A lot of students, may mga kakilala silang top-notchers, but they don't really take advantage or take the opportunity to ask for advice, to ask for mentorship, and I think this is very, very crucial. If gusto niyong pumasa, if gusto niyong magtalk, you need to ask people who have been there what were their techniques, what subjects did they focus on, what and what certain strategies that they use for them to actually top the board exam. Because there are many, many things. Each person uses different kinds of strategies, and you need to be able to understand what works for you. And you will only know what works for you if you have variety of choices in the first place. So asking people about their strategies will make you understand more and experiment on what actually works for you. Because if you're only limited to the strategies that you use during your undergraduate, it's very very limited and it's going to not be very fruitful for you. You won't be able to take advantage of learning or maximizing your learning especially if your strategies in undergraduate weren't really that efficient in actually helping you understand the lessons. So I think I think that's very important for you to take advantage of for this review season. You need to ask people, you need to ask 
ask your friends, ask your mentors, ask your professors, talk to top notchers, talk to a lot of people so that you won't get burnt out. That's the first one, of course. You will not feel like you're burnt out. Second one is you won't feel alone in this journey. And of course, you will have the guidance to help you maximize your learning. So there you have it. I think you can use those strategies for you to have a different review experience right now para mas marami kang matututunan and for you not to waste this additional time that was given to you to further understand the lessons that you have. So I think it is very very important for you as a student to actually reflect on why this was given to you. Bakit na-delay ng na-delay? There's always a reason for everything and you have to take advantage of that opportunity instead of just wasting your time doing this same routine over and over again without understanding the lessons anymore and getting burnt out. You need to be able to do more strategies and do these things for you to actually really understand and enjoy the process as well. Okay, so that's my time today. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Review well, study well. If you found this video helpful, you can share these with your friends. You can comment, like on this video. And I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!